Hello friends, this is Russian Toys here and in today's video I just want to show you some new additions for my planted shrimp tank. So as you all hopefully by now know this is my five gallon uh, red cherry shrimp aquarium with uh, seven cherry shrimp, five of which I'm absolutely positive for female, two of which I think are male but they're still pretty young, you can see one swimming in the top right there. Um, they're really small and I don't know if they're sexually mature yet, I don't really know how that works with shrimp. So what I did today is I went to the pet store and I grabbed uh, four more shrimp. So those four shrimp are just chilling in their little bag right now. Three of them are males, one's a female. I just saw this really beautiful red female that I wanted so I grabbed it. It's um, the only one that you can really see right now, it's kind of right there. And then the other three are, I'm pretty sure, male because they are a lot smaller. They ha don't have the um, concave uh, part under their tail and they're not as colorful. So I think all of those signs point to them being males, hopefully. And then over here you can see that I also got some uh, Indian almond leaf or katapa leaves. Um, so I ordered these off Amazon. It's 50 of these little leaves in here. Um, they are apparently supposed to uh, provide some food for the shrimp and shrimp uh, really like them and give the baby shrimp something to feed on and stuff so I'm gonna try adding these to the water as well hopefully they'll uh, help there are ten dollars on Amazon shipped straight to my door in two days and I think for the amount of leaves you get that's a pretty good deal right there so I'm also gonna add uh, some of those to the aquarium in this video now the first step is for me to acclimate the shrimp so I'm just gonna dump them in this container right here and uh, not drip acclimate them because honestly I don't really have the time for that and they're cherry shrimp um, but just slowly add water from the aquarium into this container because the aquarium does not have a heater and it's just sitting at room temperature um, I don't need to make worry about the temperatures being the same so I'll just do that right now So here they are, now it's time to add a little bit of water from the aquarium and let it sit. I'm going to repeat that three times, whole process is probably going to take about 30 minutes and I'm definitely not going to show you guys all of that because it is fairly straightforward. So once I have added enough water, I will be back. Alrighty, so now that the shrimp are all acclimated, hopefully, I'm going to add them to the aquarium. But, as you can see, there's some duckweed in here, and I don't want duckweed in the shrimp aquarium because I have some moss in there that I would rather have grow at the surface. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, grab my fishnet and try to remove as much of the duckweed as I can with this. And with what is now essentially most of the duckweed removed, it is time to add the shrimp to their new home without capturing any of the leftover duckweed in there. Alright, there's shrimp number one. And here goes the big female. Last shrimp to add to the aquarium. And there she goes. And there we go. Now there should be 11 red cherry shrimp in this aquarium with hopefully at least the three males that I just added and then the six females and two of which I thought were males but they may be females who knows because so far there has been no breeding so last thing to do now is to add um, some of the Indian almond leaves now the instructions on there say that um, you should use 10 leaves for 12 gallons this is a 5 gallon which would mean roughly 4 leaves um, I don't think I want to use that many. I don't want to taint the water too much. So I think I'm just going to start with one leaf and see where it goes from there. So here's the little leaf. Apparently they'll take one to two days to sink in the aquarium. So I'm just going to add it at the top for now. And let it soak up with water. And hopefully it'll sink within the day and the shrimp will have something new to feed on. So for now this is everything. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, I try to get back to every question as long as it's uh, a reasonable question. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. 
if you want to see more frequent updates, follow me on Instagram at underscore Russian towards underscore. If not, you don't have to, of course. And with that, I will see you guys next time.